in Honduras, Xiomara Castro, was sworn in Thursday as the first woman president in Honduran history. Thousands of supporters attended Castro's inauguration ceremony at the National Stadium in the capital, Tegucigalpa. During her speech, Castro ordered free electricity for Hondurans living in extreme poverty, vowed justice for Berta Cáceres and other murdered land and water defenders, and said her government will not continue to loot Honduras. La pobreza se incrementó al 74 por ciento para convertirnos en el país más pobre de América Latina. Esta cifra por sí misma explica la caravana de miles de personas que de todas las edades huyen para el norte, México y Estados Unidos buscando un lugar y una forma de subsistir sin importar el riesgo para sus vidas. Castro's presidency marks the end of a brutal 12-year regime by the U.S.-backed right-wing National Party, which first came to power after the 2009 U.S.-backed coup that overthrew Castro's husband, President Manuel Zelaya. This comes as many are demanding outgoing Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez be indicted and extradited to the United States to face charges of aiding drug traffickers, like his brother.